Hello friends, Tattooed Biker here with you, and tonight I've got a mixed bag of unexplained experiences, featuring unidentified creatures, cryptids, and other high strangeness. So get ready, this is going to be a weird one. Let's ride. Number 1. Dear Tattooed Biker, I have something strange that I'd like to share. It all started when my three-year-old son suffered from chronic ear infections last year, which led to him having high fevers. I slept with him on this particular night because I needed to give him Tylenol throughout the night to keep his fever down and keep him comfortable. I set my alarm to wake me up at around 2.30 a.m. When I woke up, I went into the kitchen to get the Tylenol, and I noticed a bright light shining into the apartment from our deck door which also illuminated part of the woods behind the apartment. When I went over to see what it was, it turned out to be a car with those bright LED headlights in the parking lot to the far back right of the apartment. I figured they were dropping somebody off. I saw movement of what resembled a dog walking around near the woods. I started to think that the lady who walks her dog, which is a cute little corgi, in that area purposely faced her car in that direction so she could see while she walked her dog. As it got closer, I realized that there was nobody out there walking a dog, and there was no dog. I don't know what it was that I saw, but I'll describe it in the best way I can. At first, it looked like a dog, corgi-sized. But as it walked closer, it looked like your average house cat. Then it looked like a black bear and then it looked like a koala. I live in North New Jersey, farmland with lots of woods, and there are no wild koalas here. Around this point, my heart is pounding out of my chest and I'm terrified. The fear I felt was like a primal type of fear that I have never felt before. I ran into my bedroom to wake up my boyfriend and I shook him awake very roughly. I was saying, you gotta come see this. He was more than a bit annoyed with me. When we looked outside together, we see this thing getting closer and it looks like a skunk now. White stripe down the center and all, with a perky, fluffy tail. And I said, oh, it's just a skunk, with a little chuckle. I then felt a bit embarrassed that I woke him up over a skunk, but at that moment, I also felt relieved. However, I was very mistaken. As it continued to walk, it looked as if it was struggling to find a form. I thought it looked like it was falling apart, but also coming back together again at the same time. I know this really doesn't make sense, but it's hard to find the words for what we saw. After the skunk formation, it looked like a person crawling on the ground with some type of fur or skin attached to them around the leg. Then it changed again and looked like a raccoon, a groundhog, black bear, cat, koala, deer, and skunk again. That part stuck out to me the most, was that whatever it was seemed to be coming apart or shedding, but at the same time it was growing. Whoever had their headlights on turned them off as it went deeper into the woods. This all happened pretty quick, and I'd say only about a couple of minutes from start to finish. He ended up going back to bed, but I really couldn't sleep after that, so I grabbed a flashlight and shined it into the woods to see if I could see it again, but it was gone. I also opened the door to see if I could hear anything, but everything was very, very quiet, and I had a very hard time going back to sleep that night. My boyfriend wasn't scared, but he was very confused and stunned. He didn't know what to make of the whole thing. I was scared and really creeped out. I know if I hadn't woken him up to see it for himself, he most likely wouldn't have believed me and would have chalked it up to just me being groggy. Unfortunately, I know what I saw, and I'll never forget it. Thanks for reading. Signed, Heather. Number 2 Dear TB, full disclosure, I shared this story several years ago, 
to several different channels and online forums, and then decided to submit it to you and your listeners to get any new insight or answer any new questions. A lot of people refer to this phenomenon as the Glimmer Man now. I still don't know what to think, though. I am leaning towards an interdimensional being of some sort. I basically just copied and pasted my original forum post, so please let me know what you think. I would just like to start by saying that I'm new to this group, and this is my first post. So please bear with me if I'm not doing this right. This story I'm about to share is actually why I joined this site on my quest to find out if this has happened to anyone else. This is 100% true, and is really hard for me to share because any time I've tried to tell someone about it, I just get laughed at and then accused of trying to pull their leg. I've recently seen an article about a woman who was hunting and seen an invisible cloaked creature that she described as almost like a predator from the movie of the same name. I read her story and seen the picture she took of said predator. Now, as for her picture, I personally think it's just a combination of flare from the sun and a close-up of possibly her face or something. Now, I'm not dismissing her story, though. Actually, quite the opposite, since I, too, have encountered something similar and is what prompted me to seek out if anyone else has encountered a predator in the woods. Now, on to my encounter. When I was about five years old, I was playing by the edge of the woods behind my grandmother's house. I played there often, and my grandma just kept an eye on me from the kitchen or living room because the house had these huge windows that faced the woods. She would come out every once in a while just to see what I was up to. I was obsessed with digging in the dirt and collecting unusual rocks and arrowheads that littered the land where my grandmother lived. I should mention that this is in Midwest Illinois, not too far from the Cahoka Mounds, so finding arrowheads was actually not that uncommon. Anyway, that day I remember picking out a spot to dig. I'd been out there for quite a while because I remember that I had a pretty decent sized hole going. And that's when something caught my eye up in the tree that I was next to. I almost don't know how to explain it, but it looked like an almost a heat wave coming off the branch of the tree. It was fall. I remembered this because I had on my red jacket, and I remember thinking that my mom was going to be pissed because I had dirt around the bottom of the arms from all the digging. I also remember that there being a lot of leaves on the ground. Anyway, I'm just staring at this heat wave and realize it has a human shape. So here I am, five years old, and wondering why there's an invisible man in the tree. I remember feeling scared, but unsure what to do. Then it started moving and making a faint clicking sound. That's about the time that I decided that I wasn't supposed to be seeing this and I hightailed it back to the house. My grandma seen I was pretty shaken, and I remember telling her that I had just seen an angel. In my five-year-old mind, I didn't know what else it could be. I had never heard of aliens or ghosts or monsters, so to me, it had to be an angel, because that's all my little mind could think of. Fast forward to when I'm about 12 years old, by this time, the encounter was way out of my mind. I loved watching action and sci-fi movies. My dad rented a movie called The Predator. I'm watching it with him, and the first time you see The Predator, invisible or cloaked, I nearly shit my pants. At that moment, all the memories from that day of digging in the dirt came flooding back. I even asked my dad if Predator was real, or if he knew anyone or any animal that had cloaking ability that I didn't know about. He told me it was all fake. It wasn't like it is today where I could just Google it. I had no access to the internet, so again, I just put it out of my mind. Again, fast forward to about the year 2004. I'm grown by this point, and I have three small children. I just went through a separation from my wife. I moved to the next town over 
to an apartment with my kids. These apartments are all one-level duplexes, with there being five buildings. I'm at the very last apartment of the last building. The apartments are considered in town, but are kind of on the outskirts. There's a deep ditch that runs behind the buildings with a chain-link fence that separates the backyard from the ditch. There are about six or seven trees on our side of the fence. If you follow the ditch for a while, you hit a small forest that eventually leads to the country with a far larger forest and farmland. I'm a smoker, but wouldn't smoke in the apartment because of the kids, so I often went out onto the back porch. One night, I was up late, doing laundry and stuff after the kids went to bed. I decided to take a smoke break, and I'm back there on the porch, and I started hearing this faint clicking sound. I immediately looked to the ditch because I'd seen a groundhog out there a few days before and thought maybe he was back. The yard is faintly lit from the outside light that is by the playground that's to the right of my back porch. I didn't turn on my porch light. I didn't normally. If I was just going out for a quick smoke, that is. I didn't see any groundhog or movement from the ditch, so I go back to smoking my cigarette. The faint clicking sound keeps happening, and a slight shift of movement makes me look up into the tree to the left of my porch. And there it is, the same invisible thing that I had seen when I was just five. It's like a distortion and in a humanoid shape. It's crouched down on the branch with an arm out holding on to the trunk of the tree. I absolutely couldn't believe it. I was like, is this really happening? Has it come to kill me from seeing it all those years ago? All I could think about was my kids in the apartment still sleeping. I ran in and slammed and locked the door. I ran to their rooms and made sure all of the windows were locked. Then I turn out the lights in the living room and stare out the blinds at the tree to see if I could catch another glimpse of it. I must have sat there for a good ten minutes and never saw anything. I began to think that maybe I was just tired and my mind was playing tricks on me. Just as I was finally talking myself down, my neighbor's dog comes running across the yard and starts barking at the tree at the same branch that I'd seen this predator thing. That pretty much freaked me out because this dog just isn't a barker. I actually have never heard him bark at anything, even at the groundhog that likes to hang out in the ditch. This barking went on for a few minutes until I hear the neighbor lady who owns the dog call him back inside. The dog reluctantly turned to go back home, stopping every few feet to look back at the branch until he was out of my sight. I didn't sleep that night, and I've never seen anything like it again. I don't know what to think of it. I'm a grown man. I have kids and a good career. I just want to know if anyone else has ever had an experience like this. I know what I saw, believe it or not. Thanks for taking the time to read it. Signed, Tim. Number three. Dear Biker, One day in autumn of 2015, I came home from school early as I skipped the last three classes. I live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, by the way, and it was around 12 noon. All the lights in the house were off, and I was wearing my earbuds. I went from my kitchen to the living room, and as I looked at the small couch we have in my parents' house, I saw this thing staring back at me. It wasn't for a split second. It was staring at me for like three to five seconds, front-facing me so I know it wasn't just my brain or eyes mistaking a random object for a human-sized being. It wasn't very tall. About five feet would be the tallest it could have been. It had a human body-like shape. Its skin looked like candle wax, and it was very, very wrinkly. Kind of reminded me of E.T., but it looked way more old and pretty much dead. Its hands weren't exactly human-like. It had really long fingers and long, dark nails. Its eyes were all black, and they looked hollow. It had brownish hair on its head, legs, and arms. 
I didn't do anything, and neither did it. It just stared at me for some seconds. I looked away or blinked, I don't remember which one, and it just left or vanished or something. When it looked at me, I had felt both terrified and in awe. But the weird thing is it looked familiar, even if I've never seen it before or since. I felt like its intentions weren't necessarily bad, and I don't think it was a hallucination, because there's no history of schizophrenia or anything similar in my family. There is actually no mental illness history on either side. I would like to know if anyone knows anything about this creature, or if anyone has had a similar experience. Looking back, I don't think it had ears. As for a nose, it was just a small black opening on its face where a human's nose would normally be. Its face was a mixture of demonic and alien features, only the body was humanoid. Its eyes didn't indicate aggressive behavior exactly. It was more like that it was staring at me out of curiosity, but it looked very alert and ready to fight back if need be. Its face was wax-like and wrinkly like the rest of its body, and it was shaped kind of oval, if I recall correctly. Sorry, I'm not much of a writer. Signed, Luke. Number four. Dear Tattooed Biker, I was referred to you by a friend, and I've been looking for answers and thought that I'd ask you. This was around September or October of 2017. My fiancé and I loved sitting in our backyard and just enjoying the scenery. We lived near Cheyenne Mountain in El Paso County, Colorado. We had seen some weird and unexplainable stuff on top of that mountain. Once, we were watching what we thought was a hiker, right before he ran towards the edge of a cliff and seemingly just flew off. This kind of stuff was the other half of why we loved sitting in our backyard and just watching the mountain and observing the sky. Now back to the story. With all the strangeness, this was by far the most unexpected and unexplainable. One night, around 10 p.m., we were staying up late and felt like lying out back and stargazing. We dragged the dog's bed outside and threw a few blankets on top so we could lay on it. It was always windy there, and we lived at the base of a mountain, so this was just part of life. We also had a flood wash behind our house with a little running trail that made our yard even more windy. As we watched the clouds pass under the stars, something large and humanoid glided over us. It looked just like a man with wings. It didn't flap, it just glided over silently. I would say about 3,000 feet up. I'm just estimating this based on the height of the mountain. I'm not sure, but it looked like it was about the height of the mountain peak, below the clouds, gliding above our house, south parallel to the mountain ridge. It was silhouetted against the clouds. The city lights barely illuminated it, but... I could clearly make out the shape of a man with wings. My original thought was a hang glider, but it was super late at night, and as far as I know, you don't just jump off of random mountains to do this. There are designated flying zones, and you have to log quite a bit of flight hours to be able to fly alone. I also had some crazy thoughts like a vampire or gargoyle, but again, I've not heard any legends or stories from this area. I have done a bit of research, and my new thought is that someone may have released a flying fox. I looked up videos of them flying, and they seemed smaller than what I saw, but maybe someone had one that got too big and they let it loose. I've had friends that have exotic pet birds, cats, or monkeys, so I can see this happening. They seem like they need to flap a lot, though. But I guess if they were higher up, it might not need to as much. It had such a smooth, straight flight path, it gave me doubts. This still seems like the most reasonable explanation, but then again, with the sightings in Chicago and other places, I wonder if this winged mothman may be real. Thanks for reading. Signed, Marco. All right. 
There it is. All the true stories of cryptids and high strangeness that I have for you this evening. I sure hope you enjoyed hearing these as much as I enjoyed reading them. They just go to show that this world is a weird place and we really don't know what all's out there. And just a quick reminder that Kitty from Pine Box Tales, she's moving her channels over to Pine Box Mysteries. If you haven't subbed yet, no worries. I'm going to help you out and leave a link down in the pinned comment. Anyways, thanks again, and as always, stay curious, stay vigilant, stay safe, and I'll be seeing you on down the road a ways. Biker, out.